Things at John Glenn International have been back to normal since yesterday's bird strike. It led to an engine fire on an American Airlines flight. That flight landed safely shortly after takeoff, and tonight we are learning more about these types of incidents. NBC4's Eric Halperin is at the airport with what the team there does to prevent wildlife strikes. Eric? The team here at the airport works with the FAA and U.S. Department of Agriculture on this. According to the airport, a full-time wildlife specialist is part of that team. A spokesperson with the Columbus Regional Airport Authority says there are several steps taken to try to prevent wildlife from getting in the way in the first place. This includes fencing, stormwater detention, and certain landscaping techniques. The FAA says 97% of wildlife strikes involve birds, like in the incident yesterday. According to the CRAA, its team uses several wildlife control methods, including pyrotechnics, propane cannons, scare devices, audible devices, and when necessary, lethal control of wildlife if it's a safety hazard. The FAA and the airports, they put a lot of emphasis on how to deter birds from the airport. Like I said, they, they are, a, airports are a magnet from birds. But what the airports do specifically is they, they plant certain types of trees and bushes and different grasses in there to deter birds from being around these airports like that. And you just heard from the interim director of OSU's Center for Aviation Studies. Coming up at 6, we talk with him about the types of training pilots go through for situations like this. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Eric Alperin, NBC4.